Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how to install the JFly front to your pants. Um, this is how it looks when it's open. Just go over the parts that you're looking at. This is called the fly shield, which you can see is under the zipper part. And we'll have a fly facing in here. And then your zipper. And that's pretty much it as far as that, that goes. Um, I will show you the pattern. You will have already cut your pattern pieces out. but So you'll have your fly shield here. And in this one, I cut two pieces of the same size. And I interface one side. And then I just clean finished it with the serge stitch. However, on the sample that I first showed, the fly shield was clean finished with right sides together, graded, seam allowances were graded, and then pressed. So if you want like a you know higher end finish, I think this would be a nice way to do it. So I wanted to show you the, the different options. You could also have binding, but somehow before you start, you need to finish this edge. Same thing with your facing piece. Right, so whatever your method is, binding, surging, clean finishing, you need to do that ahead of time. And of course, you're going to have your, your zipper. I um, also want to note that you want your zipper to be about 3 eighths to 5 eighths of an inch shorter than the fly. You don't want this to, the, the zipper stop to go all the way down. This is an example of a zipper that I just shortened, so I did a, my own little back uh, bar tack here and then I went in ahead and I clipped away the excess coil or zipper tape so uh, not zipper tape yeah the, the, the coil so that you don't have that extra in the in the part of the crotch there okay so of course you'll have your pant fronts to get together I went ahead and sewed here let me show you this way I, I marked here right across where, where my zipper is going to end and then I went down about a half an inch and I sewed for more or less an inch and a half. You can continue and finish the crotch seam if you want. Um, but I just did that. So you just want to hold it together. Okay, so now I'm going to open my pants and it'll look like this. I'll have my right and front free. They're not stitched together yet. So the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is to take your facing. And um, I have this marked. This is my, I always put X for my wrong side. And you're going to put your right sides together. So your facing will lay down on the opening of the front of the crotch. I'm going to pin it. I always say this, but I'm going to always continue to say just, you should be hand basting everything before you sew it. But in the video, it just takes too long on some of these parts that don't really uh, won't really help too much if I did that, so you'll you'll kind of get the understanding of it. Oh, I also want to point out I'm using a skinny zipper foot. I don't know if you can kind of see that, it's got the two little feet together. But I'm just keep, I'm just keeping that on now to make it easier to sew this piece. You don't need it for that piece. But if you don't have a skinny zipper foot, you can also use these zipper feet. One that has a hole in the left and one that has a hole in the right. These come in really handy. So either way is fine. I just, for demo, this is easier for me to not have to keep taking the feet off. Um, so I'm going to sew at my normal, whoops, let me bring the camera back in. I'm going to sew at my normal um, seam allowance. Yours could be 3 eighths, could be a half an inch. Whatever it is, that's what you're going to sew, and you're going to sew to that mark, which was right across from where I, on your pattern, where you would stop stitching. So it's right across the uh, where you, your, your measurement on your pattern. So I'm leaving a little bit, maybe a, a three eighths of an inch that I'm not stitching of my fly facing right here. Okay. So the next step would be press seams open with your iron. I'm using my fingers just to demonstrate and then you will press seams towards your facing okay you will always want to have your facing and your seam allowances on the same side right okay now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to edge stitch or under stitch right alongside on my facing side catching my seam allowances so skinny zipper foot kind of comes in handy because I can just ride it right along the edge. And just go to where you stitched before.
Okay, so it'll look like this. And then on the underside, it'll look like this. Now I'm, I am going to come in here and just trim away some of my seam allowance. But if you're going to be um, binding this or serging it, this is the time to do it. I just want to get it a little bit of it out of my way right now. But remember, your finishes have to be really well thought out before you start any project. Okay, so there we got. We got that. Next step is I'm going to take my zipper and I'm going to lay it face down, basically with the right side, right, this is where my zipper pull is, lay it face down on top of that facing, and I'm going to align my zipper tape to the top edge of my facing because the seam allowance is already built into your zipper tape, and then I'm going to go ahead and pin that side down. I want to make the, it, this is basically um, a reference to where to lay your, your zipper because what's going to happen is I'm pinning the left side all the way down but I'm going to actually sew on the right side, okay? So I'm going to, now one thing I'm going to tell you is with, depending on how thick your zipper pull is, and mine's just a random zipper which is not a standard one for the pants, it's a little bit thick so I may have to pull it down a little bit to sew it but I'm going to see what I can do. And I, and I don't start at the zipper tape. I come like maybe an eighth or a quarter inch above the pull. I'm going to zoom this I think in so you can see it. Okay, so I am going to pull it down just a little bit to get it started. And I'm running my zipper teeth right alongside the, the um, edge of my skinny zipper foot. Now I'm going to, in order to get this back up, I'm going to have to unpin, but it's okay because I've already stitched there and I've started to stitch here. And I'll just pin, um, zip that up. Keep going. And I'm going to go to where my zipper, you can't see it, where my zipper um, stop is. I'll show you in a second. So I just stitched right to the, the top of the zipper stop. So once you undo your pins, you'll see that you have what looks like this. Right? So you've got this part of your facing and then your zipper is stitched on this side. So that's just like, like I said, you, you measure that, that's just a way to know that that's the exact width for, the exact width for your zipper tape. Oops, sorry, I'm going to change my angle here. Okay. So the next step we're going to do is we need to get this zipper onto the other side. I'm going to open the zipper. Sorry, I'm trying to get it so you can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and line the zipper tape up to the top edge of my pant here, just like we did the other one. I'm going to pin this one. Hand baste it. And the reason I say the hand basting is so that there's no shifting, nothing will move, but you know, I'm not going to do that right this second. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did I'm, with riding my, the edge of my zipper foot on the edge of the coil here. And then just do this all the way to the right at the top of your zipper stop and just a tiny bit above. Okay. So now we have what looks like this. You've got the side with the facing. Let me move my camera. The side with the facing here. And now you've got this side with it just sewn to the pant for the moment. Okay? Now, 
I want to take my shield we had here and I'm going to lay it under oops sorry let me pin it and then show you pin it on the top actually there's a couple ways to do this you can um, I'll just show you this way it's a little I think it makes more sense to most people so now I'm gonna put it right sides together on top of the zipper so really we could have put all these layers together by pin basting and then hand basting but I wanted you to to kinda understand and see the um, order of operations I'm gonna come from the side that I already stitched and I'm just going to stitch right over that seam because I know that it it's not too close to the zipper So now you can probably understand why if you just took the three layers and did it all at once with the basting, so it should be nice and neat for your final. Okay, almost there. So this is what we've got now. And you are going to top stitch right along the edge. So you're, you're going to keep your fly facing out and you're just going to edge stitch here. You don't have to. This is an extra thing but it will help keep your zipper in place but if you don't want top stitching this kind of fabric you're using then you can opt out for this step it just gives it a little more security okay just to show you where we're at now we have okay so I went and just stitched all that down and this is how it would look in the back remember this should be finished back here Okay, now I'm going to zip it up. Camera's going dark. Okay, so I zipped it up. And let me just lay it and then I'll show it to you. Okay, so I zippered, once, once you zippered up, this is still free, right? But it's going to fold over on that area where you understitched, and it'll lay nice and flat on top. So I will go ahead and pin so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I like to um, pin this whole area, like I'll put another one. I, I like to pin the center front down so I know everything is nice and flat. And just keep it that way. And also, if I was tailoring these pants, I would base this edge down so nothing moves on me. And then I'll show you what the back looks like. So now you've got your fly shield in the back but it's going to be in the way because the next step we're going to do is top stitch on the J fly so I want you to just take your shield and put pin it out of the way to the other side temporarily so that it does not get caught in your top stitching okay because what we're going to do is like I said we we have this piece with the this the um pins down but that's our j onto our shield onto our j fly facing here okay so next step is you will have drawn from your pattern the the um j fly shape i guess lack of better word so what i usually do is i will pin my pattern back over and i'm just going to change the angle here so you can see better I take my pattern piece, 
this is just my muslin, but let's pretend it's my pattern piece. And I would lay it right back over where my shield, my facing is underneath, which you can see through this light, and just thread trace your line so that you get the same shape as your facing that you created. I'm just drawing it, but you can chalk it for your sample, but thread trace it. Okay, so now I'm going to come back over here, and knowing that my fly shield is out of the way, I'm just going to top stitch really slowly over my line, just making sure nothing's in the way. And now when I get to this point here, you make sure that you drew the line below the zipper stop and you can just double check and feel for it because you do not want to stitch over that. Okay, and now you're going to get to the point of the, the crotch where it meets that center seam and now is where you can go and like go down the crotch a little bit if you need to or up to do a bar tack. I'll just do it like this because I'm here. Because there will be that little tiny hole where we left it open. So you can also come up and stitch up in here too. Sometimes you'll see like bar tacks up in here so it'll be more secure. I'm not doing a real bar tack but I'm just doing a top stitch right now. Take out my pins, and then hopefully with your basting, and then you'll have it'll look like this. So you see down in here. That's why we wanted to, like we had that little hole there, but you can see now it's all closed up. Now you can take your fly shield and bring it back where it's supposed to be. And it'll be laying flat like that. Then you just want to catch it somewhere with your fly facing so that it doesn't flap open. Okay, so I'm just going to go and I'm going to put it wherever it meets up with my, like right for me, it's like right here. I'm just going to do a quick back and forth stitch. Again, a bar tack kind of thing. Because you don't want it flapping open on you when you're wearing it. Okay, and that's... That's your flash. That's your J fly.